Thanks for tuning in. This is the Life of the Miner, and in this video, I'm going to share the hash rates mining green coin on all my GPUs. So let's check this out. Okay, so I'm going to go over mining green coin on my RTX 2080 Ti and my other GPUs. I'm going to go over the hash rates, the overclocks, and the power draws. Now, I do own the Zotec Gaming GeForce RTX 2080 Ti Amp Edition. Now, I do want to mention that I will have all the stats below. So if you did want to check it out, it will be in the description. Now, first, I'm going to do a quick overview of all the graphics cards that I did test. But I'll be more detailed at the end. Now, there are some graphics cards that I did not test, which are the graphics cards down here. But I did grab all these stats from a forum, but they may not be correct. This is my gaming computer, and it does idle around 67 watts. My RTX 2080 Ti on stock setting, it does mine around 6.5 graphs per second, and it does consume around 346 watts. Now my RTX 2080 Ti overclocked, bumping the core to 85 and the memory to 850. I was mining at 7.02 GPS, and I was still consuming around 346 watts. Now slightly decreasing the power limit to 80, I was mining still at 6.56 GPS, but now only consuming 290 watts. Now for my other GPUs on stock settings, my GTX 1080 Ti, I was mining around 4.11 GPS. and my 1080, I was mining around 3.17 GPS. Now doing a safe overclock setting, upping the core to 50 and boosting the memory to 500, my GTX 1080 Ti, I was mining at 4.27 GPS, and my 1080, I was mining around 3.30 GPS. Now my other GPUs on stock settings, my Titan XP, I was mining at 4.30 GPS, and my GTX 1070 Ti, I was mining at 3.02 GPS. Now overclocking the GPUs, the core plus 50 and memory plus 500. My Titan XP, I was mining at 4.35 GPS and my GTX 1070 Ti at around 3.09 GPS. Now my 1070 on stock settings, I was getting around 2.67 GPS. So overclocking my GPU, so the core plus 50 and memory plus 500. My GTX 1070, I was getting around 2.82 GPS. Now these are the other GPUs I did not test. I did grab these stats from a forum. But for the 1060, they mentioned you should get around 1.9 GPS stock and 2.35 GPS overclocked. For the Vega Frontier, about 2.95 GPS stock. The RX 480, 1.40 GPS stock and about 1.60 GPS overclocked. And the RX 580, 1.60 GPS stocked and around 1.98 GPS overclocked. Okay, so now for the RTX 2080, I kept getting this error. It stated I was out of video memory. Now I did test this on other motherboards as well, but I kept getting this error. Okay, so now I'm gonna go over mining green coin on my RTX 2080 Ti in more detail. Now first, this is a quick overview of the graphics cards that I have tested and I have not tested. My computer did idle at 67 watts. My RTX 2080 Ti on stock settings, I was getting around 6.5 graphs per second at around 346 watts. Now my GPU was only consuming around 279 watts, so I was getting around 0.0233 graphs per second per watt. Now my RTX 2080 Ti overclocked for plus 85 memory plus 850, I was getting around 7.02 graphs per second at around 346 watts. Now my graphics card itself was only consuming around 279 watts and I was getting around 0.0252 graphs per second per watt. So it did increase my efficiency by about 8.2%. Now my RTX 2080 Ti overclocked and decreasing the power to 80. I was now getting around 6.56 graphs per second at 290 watts. So I did lose around 0.46 graphs per second, but my GPU was now only consuming around 223 watts, so I did drop around 56 watts. So now I was getting around 0.0294 graphs per second per watt, 
so my efficiency did increase by about 16.7%. All right, so thanks for checking out my mining results, mining green coin on my different graphics cards. Now, if you are getting different results or even better results, please let me know. But of course, thanks for watching and always happy mining. Promise you, you'll catch me.